what's going on just thought I'd make a video here comparing um, a clutch versus non-clutch derailleur on my specialized diverge gravel bike so I filmed some slow-mo video here on my iPhone of me dropping the rear wheel of the bike from roughly six inches 150 ish centimeters just to see what the chain reaction is like so initial um, test I've set the chain in biggie smalls and I'm using the standard um, Tigra non-clutch rear mech so here's what the bounce looks like so as you can see the chain bounces quite severely making multiple impacts with the chain stay after the initial impact you can notice that the derailleur oscillates around the main derailleur hanger quite severely so in this next test you can see it's set up similarly biggie smalls but we have the GRX812 rear derailleur attached to the bike which has a clutch built into it the first thing to notice is that the chain doesn't actually make contact with the chain stays although it's very close the second thing to notice is the wild oscillations around the hanger have also disappeared and finally the chain is under much more control compared against the Tiagra The next test is to demonstrate a factor I don't see much information about, which is controlling the cassette inertia. We set the bike up in biggie smalls and pedal to what would be a relatively high speed, say 45-50 km per hour, then abruptly stop pedaling. This simulates many situations, uh, like going downhill fast and having to stop pedaling for a corner, or to take on some unforeseen obstacle. In this situation, the energy and inertia built up within the cassette, free hub body and a chain need to be controlled. And as you can see, there is a dangerous and devastating lack of control of the chain in this situation. I'm just going to repeat that section again to show you how bad it is in even slower motion. So moving on to the GRX clutched rear mech, um, we can see that when we stop pedaling, um, we have much greater control over the chain. I repeated this test several times to try to recreate the situation we saw with a Tiger rear mech, but each time the GRX exhibits much greater chain control. So what are my final thoughts on clutched versus non-clutched rear mechs? Well, it depends on application. I think for a pure road bike, there's some argument still that you can get away without a clutch for racing. But I like my frames, I don't want to get them damaged. I think a clutch will prevent any chain slap and keep your bike quieter whilst riding, which is worth a very small penalty of the weight the clutch carries. For a gravel bike or a bike using a one by chain system, I think a clutch rear mech is essential. There's a vast improvement when we consider the abrupt pedal stopping at speed in chain control. It will limit the amount of damage the chain can do to the chainstay. And uh, if you're running knobbly tires, it'll help prevent any chain suck that an uh, out of control chain interacting with tire knobbles could cause. And that's it for this one guys. If you have any thoughts, pop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.